Hey, fifth graders, welcome back. Thanks for your submissions about the data uh, from the lifeboats, the little cup boats, or what we call lifeboats. You'll recall our independent variable was the capacity or the size of the boat. We had four sizes. We had uh, 20 milliliters, 40, 60, and 80. Okay, and here's the 20 again, just in case you forgot. All right, so we had those four different size boats. We then went and sit, we're checking to see how many passengers or pennies is what we used as passengers, how many they would hold. Um, we tested each boat one time. Did we say that was the best way to do it? No, we did it for time's sake. Um, so we tested each one once. And when we did that, we found out that we had the smallest one was nine. Next one was 11, next one was 22 pennies, and then 31 pennies. Then you submitted graphs, thank you. If you haven't done that yet, go back and please submit it. And you could see that we had the biggest jump from the 20 to the six, I'm sorry, from the 40 milliliter boat to the 60 milliliter boat was the biggest jump increase in what it could hold. Um, and then, um, from there, and I'm sorry, we also had that uh, close to that uh, as we went to the 80 milliliter one, but still the biggest increase was the 40 to the 60. Okay, um, and so you can you went ahead and you connected the dots, and that would help us predict. Like if we made a boat that was 70, that was 70 um, milliliters the capacity, you know, about how many pennies it would support. And we could say then probably that it would support, you know, right around, sorry, I don't have my glasses on, right around 25 pennies, okay? So um, we can use it as a predicting device. All right, then we made a claim based on our data. And our claim, uh, I left it, kind of gave you a sentence starter and then you made the claim. The greater the capacity of the boat, the more passengers it supported. Now, we kind of knew that going in, okay? It's like, well, yeah, sure, Mr. Schenkler. It's going to hold less if I make it bigger. Well, we, you know, we knew that, you know, going in. But you have to look at the data deeper and use it as a predicting device. So, like I had done, you know, what if we made one that was, you know, 70 milliliters? What if we went and made one that was 50 milliliters? I could see that that would support one of about 16, um, 16 pennies, okay? Another way, and um, some of these questions are going to be coming at you on Schoology. Another way you could look at it is someone tells you, they say, hey, I want you to make the smallest boat possible that will support 12 pennies. And I could go across where 12 pennies is and say, oh, Okay, I would have to make it about 35 milliliters. Okay, so even though it's obvious data, it provides us a lot as far as predicting, okay, of what, what we could do with a different size boat that we didn't test, okay? And ideally, we would have done each one at least three times and then found the average and then graphed the averages. As I mentioned a few minutes ago, time sake we were speeding up. Okay, but all along we've been looking at these independent variables, dependent variables, and controlled variables. All right, and I appreciate your work with that. All right, now we're going to move on to ELCA rockets, ELCA Seltzer rockets. I call them ELCA rockets for short. Um, ELCA Seltzer are these tablets that go into, you know, people often will put them in H2O, and then when they have an upset stomach, and they'll drink some of the H2O. And that actually um, is a base, and we have acids in our stomach, and sometimes we can get too acidic, and that helps bring that acid level down, okay? So, Elka seltzer tablets. Now, the rocket part of it is, I didn't make a fancy rocket out of this container, but I'm gonna be able to use it to help me determine um, how this, uh, you know, what I, some variables that I could change with this rocket, okay? So that's what I want you thinking of, what, I, what are variables I could change. Some of you might remember these because at St. Anthony Park, we have done them before in a different sense. When we studied air way back in the day in second grade, um, we used these to show that, you know, increasing air pressure into a certain size, um, you know, how air has 
surface volume and so forth. Okay, um, so what we're going to do with these is we're going to be taking a look at them and we are going to use them to uh, come up with an investigation. All right, these containers are from film from cameras a long time ago. Um, for me, this is how we always would have to go get the film developed then after we took pictures and they came in a container like this. Okay, um, so I actually have to buy these now. I used to get them for free when these cameras were around, all right, but uh, they're hard to find now, so um, I actually have to buy them online. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you how the rocket works, and I want you to think of what I could change that would affect the launch, okay? And we're going to say, we're going to just come up with independent variables, not dependent variables today. So your goal is to come up with four of them, four independent variables, okay? Four independent variables that would affect the launch of this rocket, what I could change, all right? And it's basically the canister popping off. The science behind it is I'm building up air pressure, okay? So that's what I'm doing. All right. So I'm going to put some warm, I'm just putting H2O, room temperature H2O in here, okay? So I put it in this container, all right, like so. And then, uh, remember I said it's all about air pressure, I'm going to build up air pressure, okay? So I'm going to drop this tablet in, I'm going to cap it, okay? I'm going to put my safety goggles on because this lid kind of flies pretty fast. And so let's check it out here. All right, and... There we go. Okay, so you can see the lid popped off. All right, for tomorrow on Schoology, I would like you to put down, list at least four variables of the Elka rocket. Four things we could test or change with the Elka Celsa rocket that would impact the launch, okay? And we can think of maybe how far it would go or how long it takes to go off. But I want you to think of the four things you could change about this system. Uh, that would be independent variables that we're, we're sorting now. We call it a variable sort. Okay, submit those. We're gonna talk about them tomorrow. Um, and then we're gonna test one. All right, have a great rest of your day. Let me know if you have any questions. Shoot me an email. Um, like I said, I can always set up a Google Meet um, in addition to our whole group one. All right, friends, have a great rest of your day.